Hi Sagittarius, it's Power Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we're going to do the tarot spread, of course, what are their true intentions in love. And we're also going to have the Tree of Life Oracle reading. Yes, and uh, we're going to, you know, start the Tree of Life Oracle reading in this reading, and then we complete it in the extended. This is just how we do it over here. And, you know, I have these Oracle cards. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, Venus, uh, right, Sagittarius. But also, you know, this reading can be switched, Sagittarius, right? So, you know, you could be saying... Uh, that was them doing that, right? And that was me doing the other one, right? Could be like that. Could be switched. Uh, and we have here, Sagittarius, the first card I have pulled here for these Oracle cards, Six of Shells, and this is Sentiment and Joy, right? And we have the, I believe the seals. Uh, I'm not sure, you guys, but very beautiful. It is, a, yeah, it is. I feel like the seals, or I forget the other word, uh, the other kind of uh, animals, just very close to a seal. Uh, but, you know, it's a beautiful card. And we also have the gentle gardener, right? And this talks about, you know, these, these fairies are hatching out of a, they're hatching out of these eggs. And the native lady is looking down like something new, something beautiful is about to be born. But it talks about kind of being gentle, kind of like with, you know, maybe being gentle with this person. I'm not really sure, or vice versa, right? We have the marriage card, and maybe you're going to get married, Sagittarius. Uh, maybe you could be, uh, or married. maybe they're married. <laughs> we hope not, but we also have the child next to it, right? So maybe this person's in a marriage, and they have a child, or it's you. But, you know, this could also be that maybe they want to marry you, right, and have a new beginning, because the child is also a new beginning, right? We know that for sure. And we have the compass. And so the compass is usually, you know, this this can be about finding a solution. Uh, but there is joy here and there is love, joy and sentiment, right? And then we have this card of responsibility, which is really interesting. And this, for me, talks about somebody being responsible. Uh, not so much to, you know, if they have to pay a bill. I don't feel like it's about that. I feel like it's about being responsible to... Uh, to your own needs or, you know, to your heart for whatever your heart is calling out. You can talk about that type of responsibility for sure. Mm -hmm. And then we have the mind and, you know, this is very clear the the fox is here. But, you know, that man is a fox. It's almost like he's, uh, it can be about somebody who's like tricking themselves. I don't really believe it has to do with uh, deception uh, in general. I feel like it doesn't. Uh, no, let's see what it says here about that. Let's see if it says anything about... I just feel like that is about uh, kind of self-deception, right? Yeah, which is no good, right? Let's see what we have uh, for the fox there. Mm -hmm. Here it is. We are what we think. Everything we are springs from our thoughts. We form the world with our thoughts. So this is talking about, you know, don't tell yourself negative things, right? This person, Sagittarius, uh, has been... I feel, like, I feel like they didn't have any courage here, and they felt like they were kind of like in ruins here to come to you. I feel like that's it. Uh, in this particular deck, <coughs> these cards all point to that. The Five of Pentacles reversed is uh, showing up here. It can be about letting somebody in, but it's about somebody who kind of, in the recent past here, it could be now, but uh, they kind of feel like they are like in ruins, yeah, and very much kind of struggling <clears throat> I feel like this is how you felt. You have this five of swords. It talks about struggle. It can talk about despair and things like that, but I feel like it's more like struggle. I feel like you were praying for them to come to you. Right here, Sagittarius, here you're praying, right? Yeah, you're praying and you're down on your knees here and these uh, seven wands are there. This is super overwhelming, but I feel like you are, you know, asking for your prayers to be delivered or for your prayers to be answered. And I feel like this could have to do with this Knight of Pentacles in your challenge, right? And he is a Virgo or she is Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Yeah, and what you want, uh, Sagittarius, is the Tower, which is really interesting because, uh, you know, it's not typically something anybody wants, you know, unless, you know... There's something wrong. <laughs> but the tower, you know, can be like, I feel like what you want here is some shocking news, which sounds sounds strange, but I feel like you're waiting for this person. 
Yeah. And you can be waiting for them to make a decision. With this card here, we have, uh, you know, the compass. You could be waiting, may, waiting for them to figure out their life, to figure out uh, their direction, like what they're going to do. I feel like that's it. Because you're fearing the Three of Pentacles. Like, we're not going to work together. We're not going to have a collaboration. Right? You're, that's what that is. Let's look at the Knight of Swords and see what it says. Because that's the energy your person is, is or has been in as a very recent. Mm -hmm. I mean, we know what it is in general, but this is uh, a different deck, definitely. Okay, so it's in the upright. Skill, bravery, battle, opposition, defense, resistance. This person, I feel like it has the courage now to come forward because I feel like this is about courage to come forward. This responsibility card, Sagittarius, talks about somebody who has awakened and the responsibility is for their own happiness. That's just the way it is. That's the way life is, you know, it, that it is. So, you know, you can't stay in a, I don't know if they're in something bad here. I don't, I'm not really sure. But it looks like they, they, they were like, they didn't have the courage to come forward. Maybe they have to cut somebody out here because, you know, the Knight of Swords in this deck is, he looks like he's, you know, headed for the slaughter there. Yeah, not, you know, it's kind of an aggressive looking card for sure. This person could have left you out in the past. The Knight of Cups is going to be their challenge. For me, this person right away is probably this Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Maybe they are the Knight of Cups here. And the Knight of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And they could be, uh, we have Justice here, and that is Libra right here. And this is what they want, Justice. Let's look at the Knight of Cups reversed and see what they have to uh, say about that. So this is in their challenge, an evil, merciless man, mischief, trickery, fraud, duplicity, and swindle. So, you know, it's, it's probably not all that, <laughs> but hopefully not, right? But my point is they could be dealing with somebody, maybe they're in a situation where they feel like they're tricked. Or they're dealing with some deception. But, you know, with this being in the challenge and them fearing you, Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, they look like they're afraid because they were kind of a trickster with you. Could be. Maybe this fox has something to do with that right here. Because, you know, we have meanings from the images. We have meanings uh, from, from the author, right? And we have meanings from standard uh, recognition of things, right? Just kind of, you know, how society sees that or whatever. Or how it has been, how it has been, uh, kind of learned, you know, yeah. Because we know the fox to be about deception. Your person here, I feel like the challenge for them is they were deceptive to you, right underneath the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like they were. So they want justice. So it's possible they want fairness and balance now, right, with you. But they could also, you know, maybe they want to marry you here. Justice, it's a contract. It, I mean, you know, it is, a, it is a contract, right? Yeah, when you ask somebody, you have to sign for it and you have to agree to it. It's a contract. Don't sign if you don't really believe in it. Please don't do that. <laughs> let's see. Let's get a card on this Knight of Cups reversed. Let's see what we have for the Knight of Cups reversed. And this is their challenge. And we have the Queen of Cups reversed. So maybe they're dealing with Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. We have the Knight and the, and, the, and, the, and the Queen. Maybe they are this water sign. It could be a third party here with the Knight of Pentacles and a Queen of Cups, Sagittarius. It could be with anybody. But I'm, this person might be leaving somebody because these, you know, these can be people in their challenge. Let's get one more card on their challenge. Somebody could be uh, maybe very jealous or in, un, in sta unstable, not instable. Like, you know, really insecure. I should probably say insecure, right? Unstable sounds like, you know, sounds a little extreme. Uh, and we have the Eight of Swords. This is the challenge here. Maybe somebody feels like they're taking them out to uh, the execution, right? Which is, you know, holding the gun up, right? Because this lady is being let out by the executioner. And she's blindfolded and bound. So somebody, you know, this is a challenge here. 
for them. It's possible this, thing, this person thinks you're going to do that to them. Right? They, they might also think you're going to judge them with justice in their desire. This Queen of Cups in the reverse is typically known as somebody who is like unstable or insecure, insecure, could be. And they could be dealing with that. This person could be feeling that way because they did some, they pulled something on you, Sagittarius. They did some trickery. And remember, the fox is here. So let's see, uh, let's continue this reading. And let's see why they want justice. Nine of Pentacles. They want to be single. Look, she's looking at the bird here on her vineyard. Like, I wish I could fly away too. I'm here with all this money on my vineyard. But, like, I want to be with Sagittarius. I don't care about, you know, these uh, beautiful duds, right? Beautiful clothes here. She's looking at the, the bird. I want to fly away. This person wants to be single. Yeah, they do. Let's see what justice is about here. This is about uh, contracts. I feel like it's about making a decision. We know it is, but in this particular deck, it is. It's it's different. This this lady, you know, did her own spin. She did. Let's see what we got. And we have, okay, justice is an ideal that takes patience and sacrifice to achieve. I feel like you're waiting for this news. The tower is what you want, Sagittarius. Yeah, because you know who you guys are. Uh, the rebel, right? You guys are the rebel, for sure. We've already, we've always known that, right? So, so when you're little, you're like, what? what did I, I didn't do anything. What? <laughs> because we, you know, we are usually kind of, uh, like, we, we let people know what we want, right? And we, like, we're very outspoken. And people take that as rebellious. Or they take it as, you know... Instead of taking it as somebody who might be strong, they're taking it as you're being aggressive. I mean, that's just, you know, this is, this is what they have tried to uh, instill in people. Yeah, let's see what else we have. We have uh, justice, balance, equality, equanimity, uh, all this stuff. Legal action, contracts, uh, lawsuits, trials, judgment, fairness. This person wants to bring balance with you and be single. And I feel like they might be wanting to leave a marriage here. Because the marriage card is here, and the justice card speaks to contracts. I feel like this person wants to detach themselves uh, from somebody. Maybe from a queen of cups. Maybe from a queen, a knight of pentacles, right? And what they fear, Sagittarius, and hold on to your seat, okay, when you guys see this. It is the queen of wands. So they're afraid of you, once again, Sagittarius, that, you know, you're going to clobber them, right? Yeah, I don't blame them. Because I know how you guys are. I'm one. <laughs> Just teasing. Let's look at the knight, the queen of wands, and we have the ten of the ten of uh, wands reversed. Yeah. So this person is making plans to be with you, and this is it's in the reverse. This is like this is the the plans, very special plans they have made in the reverse. They're afraid that you're gonna you're gonna send them to hell, Sagittarius. You're gonna have your wand. And you're going to go, I zap you from my kingdom. Yeah, that's what they're afraid of. I banish you from my kingdom. Don't come around here no more. <laughs> Let's see who we got. That's what they're afraid of. Let's look at their, their spread before we head off. We have the society card and uh, the advisor. This person could be married with the marriage card and the society card, you think? And the disciple. I feel like they want to leave a marriage here. Mm-hmm. I feel like they have the courage. I can't tell if they're leaving right now. They do have the courage. We're going to find out in the extended uh, if they are with somebody, right? And the locksmith and the eater. We have the moment. This moment is coming soon. This person is coming soon. Mm -hmm. And how other people could affect them is going to be the return. See that? They're returning. Yeah, they are. Wow, I really want to do this. finish this reading over there. The pride card. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to finish this reading. In the extended, we're also going to do the tarot, Sagittarius. And we're going to look at the situation. Uh, we're going to look at the situation between you, how they feel about you, what's in their environment, what's unknown, or, like, what they could be hiding, and uh, their true intentions, of course. Thank you so much for joining me here. They're all super affordable. 
Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. You guys rock.